for now. I've muted everything so they can't actually hear us, so that'd be definitely that's how I record the background footage. If that makes any sense. So that means that you both I'm gonna talk to you whilst recording background footage, which is nice, isn't it? Recording. So in this niche vid I will be talking about otters. I won't be doing too much about otters, I'll be doing more fun facts about them. Because I think it'll be more enjoyable and just generally more fun for me because yeah. <laughs> well there'll be some general facts, but mainly fun facts. Fun fact number one. Otters first serves multiple purposes. Purpose number one. To keep them warm in their swimming purpose two is actually it allows them to hold their breath underwater for longer. Um, that without their fur, they can hold their breath for a similar amount of time to us. Have their fur d about points to boost how long they can stay in the water for, since their fur basically holds oxygen bubbles underneath the first layer. Basically, they have two layers of fur. First layer keeps them warm. Second layer holds oxygen, which they can basically breathe by driving their nose into their fur, pretty much, which basically allows them to breathe underwater for a short period of time. Pretty neat, which is honestly. Um, otters actually were ne nearly went extinct in England at one point because they were hunted. Uh, well, not hunted because pollution basically got rid of all their food sources in where they lived. Well, not all otters, most otters really died from fishing or pollution. River otters, especially in England, nearly died out. Um, I think they actually died out for a short period of time, I think. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, because their, where they lived just didn't have any um, food, fish, treat. Uh, then there's sea otters, which actually ha have a very interesting food source. <laughs> so uh, they basically eat clams from the seabed with their gear, and then they basically float on the surface on their back and then tie themselves to some kelp really. and they normally come up with a rock and just start smashing that clam with a rock to get it open and then they eat inside the clam and they have to do this multiple times a day to stay alive I and mean, they, they actually hold hands um basically so they don't float off they normally tie themselves to kelp or hold hands whilst they sleep because obviously they live in the ocean, like if they go up to the middle of the ocean, they're gonna die. No two ways about it, really. Um, what else is there? Um, they also have a. They, they have they give live birth like most mammals. They are mammals. Um, they are carnivorous, as you probably guessed, and. Gen right, actually, very quickly, I'm to give thanks to my friends who actually gave me an idea to do otters. They're both muted currently, as not to interrupt the vid. <laughs> and one of them is waving on his cam, or smiling, I can't tell which. Um, but anyway, back to actually talking about otters. Thank you, Alfie. You are not included in this vid, though. I will keep that in, but you're not supposed to be here. Um... So, I will probably put the link to Alfie's channel in the below. However, I will force him to put a link to my channel in the video he's editing at the same time as this. That's payment ish. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh. You just said there, Peter. Anyway, back to Arthur's. I went off topic there, which I do very often when I'm talking. Um. So. Arthur's. In England, they don't really. Well, artists in the UK they don't live in England, they live mainly in Wales and Scotland. Um, they also live off the coast. They, a lot of artists actually live in England. Um, this is not. Uh, no, 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 I don't remember. Um, in the background, you're probably seeing me play balloons, actually. But anyway, I'm going off topic again. Surprise, surprise. Um, so, I might actually turn this vid into more than about well, more than one animal purely for content. <laughs> I wonder what's half a day in Discord.
Nah, no script. I like being unscripted. Um. So, I think I'm doing another part about beavers. Um. So, beavers have actually have a similar method of living to otters. Alfie, you. I might just can't put the image of the what Alfie's sending in the chat about all of this at the end. Let's see what I'm talking about at the end. Um, so beavers also, I think beavers are actually near completely extinct in the UK. Um, because of hunting, they there's some alive, but very few, because they basically. The way they live is they chop down trees with their teeth. Yes, they bite trees down and require axes. Um, and what happens is they basically cut the tree down, cut it up, and use the logs to make little dams, beaver dams, um, which they live in and are water beavers to repair by cutting down trees. But it blocks all water from passing onto the sides of where they live. So farmers, which... Sometimes beavers would stop water going to their farms. That's what they do. Grab the gun. Or pew pew. I probably, I probably gun. Because of YouTube. <laughs> uh, um. So. They basically. Would. Grab the pew pew. And shoot the beaver. And then destroy the dam. So that their fields would get irrigated. Because obviously they want their fields to grow. Money, money, money. But anyway, which caused them to go near completely extinct in most places where they lived. Um, which is quite sad. Uh, beavers live in those dams for their entire life most of the time. Uh, they live in the, I think they some live in the UK still. However, most live in America now. Um. Uh, So, I'll, so um, beavers have a, beavers I think are iconivorous or omnivorous, I can't remember which one. I'll probably put it in text like I try to do whenever I can't remember something. Um, but yeah, I'm just end the video here. Bye. The herbivores actually, that's what I've just said. Bye.